the Lancashire Lionfish. In the rainy northwest of Lancashire, there is an ancient hill called Snowdon's Baby. It has claw marks on the east side of the hill, and you may wonder how those claw marks got there. Well, some people say they were caused by the horrible Lancashire Lionfish. The mayor trains men to wield swords and how to shoot bows. The mayor had a picturesque piece of land and then and let the people farm on it. And in return, they had to give quarter of everything they produced. And in return, he promised to protect them. Remember that. One sunny day, the mayor's lazy son, Jeff, left to go hunting for food in the forest. He was a rotten shot with arrows and tethered with a sword, but loved hunting. Jeff was fine until he saw a ruffle in the bush, and it was ah. Dun, dun, dun. It was a cute little creature, but it had four teeth. It was bigger than a cat, more like an adult than a cub, really, with teeth like thorns and eyes like ping pong balls. Out Jeff hauled a yellow, hairy, and freaky lion. The lion got thrown into a cage, but destroyed it, so Jeff hurled it into a well. Well, that's enough of that thing, Jeff told himself and whistled all the way back to the castle. He did trip over a rock because he was too interested in the magnificent beast. Jeff was sent away to military school despite his pleading. Two years later, the lion had evolved into a fish-like creature and got out of the well and into a river. And there it hid and grew and grew and grew. Eventually, its small-like nature turned into more adult-like and a tail like a mermaid's but could cut through anything from simple wood to heated titanium. Its teeth had sharpness you could see from millions of miles away. Also, skin that could dry up water in a millisecond. Eyes that could see up to one mile away and they set for the village farms. And then it got ready to attack. The lionfish destroyed everything in sight. It spread fear throughout the village. A horrible, horrible fear. And all the mayor's riches were lost. He sent a desperate message to come home. Ah! screamed the people of the village. In the meantime, the people grabbed their pitchforks and torches and set off to the castle, chanting, we want Jeff. We want Jeff. Kill the fish. Kill the fish, screamed the people. You promised to protect us. One week later, Jeff got home and was shocked to see what happened to his important and beloved village. What has happened? Jeff questioned. The village has been attacked by... The mayor paused. A fish. I don't mean... A cute one from the aquarium. I mean, a colossal, cow-eating, sheep-snaffling fish. Oh no! shouted Jeff. Jeff thought back to the hunting trip all those years ago. Was this the very same thing he tossed into the well? Why had he not killed it when he had the chance? This was his chance to put things right. The very next day, he bought a suit of armour and a metal bow with poison arrows and set off to defeat the fish. Dragging his sword behind him, he followed a gruesome trail of bones until he saw it. It was using a lone mountain as a scratching post. Then, Jeff saw the opportunity to slay the beast. He took out his arrows and bow. Then he pulled it back to full strap. He fired a warning shot, but the wind made it curl and hit the beast in the eye. But that didn't blind the creature, as it has more than one eye. But the poison dealt with the creature. Yes, I have done it, Jeff shouted. 
the village is safe. The end.